Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find these partial derivatives and we have to evaluate them at uh, these points. So we want the partial with respect to x at 0, 1 and the partial with respect to y at 0, 1. Let's go ahead and start by finding the partial with respect to x, so fx. So when we're looking for the partial derivative uh, with respect to x, we treat all of the other variables as constants. So the y here uh, is a constant. But we still have an x up here, so this is still a function of uh, x as well. So we do have to differentiate this. It's not constant. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's just e to the x squared plus y squared. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. So the derivative of the inside is simply going to be 2x because the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of y squared is 0 because we're differentiating with respect to x and all of the y's are constants. So this is going to be 2x e to the x squared plus y squared. Let's go ahead and get the answer now to the first part. So the partial with respect to x at 0, 1. So x is 0 and y is 1. So this is 2 times 0. And then it's e to the 0 squared plus 1 squared. So that's going to be 2. Oh, there's a 0 there. <laughs> I was going to say e to the 1. It doesn't matter. The whole thing is 0. So let me just see if I can erase with this. Uh, there we go. Skills, zero, beautiful. Let's do the other one now. Um, let's do f sub y. So again, we'll use the chain rule. Our outside function is e, our inside function is this. So it's the derivative of the outside, which is just e. And then you leave the inside untouched. Times the derivative of the inside. So now, since it's with respect to y, all of the x's are constants. So the derivative of x squared is zero. The derivative of y squared is 2y. So this is 2y e to the x squared plus y squared. And so now we'll just plug in our point. So f sub y at 0, 1. So let's see what happens here. Ooh, a little bit different. It's 2 times 1, because right, y is 1, e to the 0 squared plus 1 squared. That'll just be 2e, so that would be the answer there. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.